This is not a Supra. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Fiona and welcome back to my garage and this is not a Supra. No, this is a Holden Commodore. This is the luxury edition and I've got it in today because uh, we're doing some brakes. This car's brakes are terrible. They're absolutely horrid. The rotors are warped, broken, scarred, terrible. The pads are iffy. The fluid, probably original OEM for the car, which is like an early 2000 model. The car, it's bad. Today is all about improving your brakes without going for big brake kits. Just renewing them back to the way that they were originally with uh, new rotors, new pads and flushing the coolant. Coolant? No, not coolant. We don't do coolant in brakes, we do brake fluid. And, um, and we're going to do all of that and then we're going to, as a part of today, we're doing a before and after. We do a road test, see what the braking's like and then afterwards we're going to do the same again. See how much quicker, better and smoother the car pulls up. And, uh, and that's what today is all about. Let's jack her up and get some wheels off. Okay, so we've got it jacked up in the air now. Just taking off the front wheel. Put the wheel underneath for safety. And I can already tell just looking at this pad, you've got this uh, rotor, you can see the scoring in it. You can see the rotors are not in good condition there. Plus there's a lip just on the outside, which means that they're possibly undersized. Yes, and you may have to um, replace them anyway. Otherwise, you can generally get them machined if they've got good thickness in them. But we're replacing these ones because they also feel warped. Uh, that is that they shudder under the foot. First thing I want to do is just remove the caliper itself and the uh, two little bolts, one top and bottom. I'll just crack those open, remove those. I'll slide the caliper off. And once we do that, then we're going to remove the caliper bracket and then the rotor comes out okay so the uh, rotors are seized on the way to get them off is usually just to wind a threaded bolt into the holes it basically will push the rotor out these rotors have three places and I'll just wind on two that should be enough okay so this is the caliper bracket uh, very important just to make sure that these sliders travel freely they may need to be regreased uh, these ones are really good, so uh, they're all good. We'll be able to bolt that back in. And of course, we have our brand new rotors. Uh, genuine OEM, they're nothing different than the original. It's only that they're brand new. Uh, we bought them online for a good price. They're not cheap eBay ones, but uh, they're not expensive either. Rotor back on, caliper bracket back on, wind the uh, pistons back with a clamp, a new brake pads in, caliper back on, we're all done.
Okay, with the fronts done, we're on to the rears, and yes, they're covered in cobwebs again. This car really hasn't been used much for a long time, but uh, we'll fix that. I'm sure it'll get a lot of good use for our area soon. All right, so these are the rear pads that I've just uh, pulled out on the rear of this. And you can see that the amount, focus, the amount of pad left on the two pads here is very different. One's down to nothing, the other one's got a little bit left on it. But when you look inside, you can sort of see a small problem. I don't know whether that is just in manufacturing or, but uh, yes, that could be definitely part of the problem. And the funny thing is the other side was almost exactly the same. So, all right, gone now, brand new pads in instead. So yes, worth definitely checking them over. Difference. All right, everyone. So clearly, the, uh, the brakes are much improved in their performance, and it's not just the braking distance. The car drives smoothly. There's no shattering. The the vehicle, it's just smoother in its traction. It's more comfortable, even just as a passenger. So clearly, for what cost us about two hundred dollars to mail order some parts online and then fit them up ourselves. The improvement to the car, the handling, the performance and the safety is remarkable. Safety being the biggest one. Car driving around the car with no brakes. Anyway, that's it for us today. We'll see you next time. Bye.